I1 Profiler Printer Quality Assurance, or Printer QA, can help you determine whether your printer or digital press is within tolerance of defined print standards. You can also use this tool to validate that the printer is staying in tolerance for proofing or production. Before you use I1 Profiler with your printer or press for the first time, be sure to run any calibration tools that came from the manufacturer and then use I1 Profiler to create a profile for that printer. To get started, select the Advanced Radio button. From the Workflows tab, select CMYK Printer, then Printer QA. Now, choose the control patch set that fits your industry's requirements. For this demo, I'll be using Idea Alliance ISO 12647-7, the North American specification. Here's the preview. Click the Wedge Layout button down here at the bottom. Select your measurement device and the page size you'll use for output. We'll use the default layout, although you can override them if you want to change the patch size or measurement unit. Now click Save As. A default name and location will appear, but can be changed. OK, go ahead and output the file on the device you want to verify such as a proofing system or digital press. When it's done printing, click the Measurement button. If your device is not calibrated, you'll be prompted to do so. Place the i1 Pro in its tray and click Calibrate. If you're working with an output device that has very coarse dots, such as a grand format printer, you may want to mark Low Resolution Test Chart. Click on the list of printers. If you see the one you use to print the target, select it. If not, click the plus button to add it. The same goes for the paper. If it's not listed, you can add it. OK, all settings are marked and it's time to measure. Using your device, read the target. There, measurement completed successfully. Click on the reference button and select the print standard you want to match. I'll select Grackle 2006 Coded 1. Let's take a look at the QA report and see how close we actually got to the targeted values for this print standard. Each print specification, Grackle, Swap, Fogra, has target values of how those combinations of ink should measure, plus a tolerance, or how close is close enough. The upper left is the expected color and the lower right is what was actually measured. A quick glance down the middle shows which areas passed. They have a green check. Let's take a closer look at the numbers. Under Average Delta E Results, you'll see the total difference for all of the patches, as compared to the print standard's tolerance. This number tells you the average of all the patches on the target, and whether that number is in tolerance. Overall, it passed with a 2.67. Now, let's look at how each individual component scored. Here's the paper color as it was measured, and how close it came to the standard. This number in parentheses shows how many patches represent paper color, in this case, 1. And this is what the tolerance should be, 5. As you can see, this passed. Here are the primaries. Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. There are four patches that represent these colors, and they are intolerance. The outer gamut total represents the really saturated colors. Here's what was measured and the number of patches. Overall, it looks great. It's the highest 10% that we have a problem with. See the red and yellow boxes in this image? The yellow boxes represent the patches with the highest delta E which is noted as the highest 10%. The red box is the worst match of the bunch. That number is shown here as the max delta E of all the patches. Also, here under maximum results is the max delta E in the lowest 90%. That's looking at the best 90% of our patches. See, it's the same number of patches as the lowest 90%, 49. The highest delta E of the best 90% of the patches is 3.67. The standard deviation section tells how far your measurements are deviating from the expected values. And average delta H shows the hue difference.
Click this button to generate a report. Save it wherever you'd like. Here you'll see all of the same information, plus details on each and every patch in the target. You can see the CMYK values that were printed, the lab values that were associated with that target, what was measured, and the delta E between the two. And most importantly, you can see whether the printer validation passed or failed. You can use I1 Profiler Printer QA to ensure your printer, proofer, or digital press is within tolerance of defined print specifications. The benefits will save you time and money.